Have you been experiencing problems with your graphics card doing wonky things like drivers crashing or dropping a lot of frames or anything like that? And you are just 100 fucking percent positive. It is not your expensive nice piece of hardware that you just shelled out like 400 fucking dollars for. I'm going to show you exactly what you can do to see if you're right. First thing you're going to do is you're going to want to close out the window that you're in. Go into a fresh window. Go to NVIDIA or you know your respected GPU manufacturer website. Go to your drivers. I will go to GeForce drivers. Search for your graphics card. In my case, it is a 900 series, 970, Windows 8.1, 64-bit. If you don't know what version of Windows you have, you can go to your computer and click Properties. That'll tell you your Windows Edition right here. And I'm pretty sure this means your 64-bit operating system. So I have Windows 8.1 with a 64-bit operating system and that's where you're gonna find that information so you go ahead and you start your search and you download the latest which is you know May 23rd not the 13th not the second not the 28th last you know month ago or whatever the top one is going to be the most recent now you can do recommended or certified drivers or you can do like a beta driver where they haven't done extensive testing to make sure it's safe I usually do recommended or certified only which you know if you pay attention everything on here pretty much ends up being recommended or certified so once you download that it's gonna be like 350 400 megabytes I already did it you are going to make sure you have it ready when you need it go into my computer or this PC as mine is called open your control panel look for a thing called device manager after that you're gonna want to find your display adapter look for your graphics card if you don't know what it is it's probably the only thing under display adapters go into properties to driver and uninstall the driver click yes you want to fully uninstall all of the driver all of the software and let it continue its process once that is complete you are going to want to restart your computer now once you restart your computer that is the finalization of the uninstallation of the old drivers or the current drivers that are just wonky once it does that it's going to restart to a weird desktop where all the icons are huge and everything's freaky looking because oh my god I uninstalled the brains of my graphics card yes you did but that's okay Windows will fix the resolution after about a minute and if it doesn't you can just kinda open up like you know Google Chrome or something and it will take you to where you need to be once that is completed and your resolution pops back to normal the new hardware wizard is done now it will not install new drivers while the new hardware wizard is freaking out it will tell you unable to install at this time new hardware wizard is running detected or whatever it says once that is complete you can go ahead and reopen your drivers and you can install from there there will be two options one is a recommended installation the second one is a custom installation if you are like me and you have a sound card or you know that you are not going to use anything extra that comes with your graphics card driver such as a sound driver or the Miracast audio driver which that's a completely different eggshell to open up for you guys or the GeForce NVIDIA experience which is you know there you know here's your information about your computer here's your you know my rig your drivers up to date make sure your drivers are good I mean it tells you settings for games for NVIDIA shield streaming all that crap you can get in there and do all of that with the NVIDIA GeForce experience if you don't want that you can just install the basic driver and you can be happy which is great do what do whatever you want to do it's your computer if you don't want all the extra bells and whistles you can just install the driver and not have any issues whatsoever it will work fine you will just need to manually to my knowledge check for new drivers every month I would say I would do it every month like once a month maybe not even that often really because if it plays the games you want to play with no issues why update 
Now, if you get a newer game that comes out and you're ha and you start having issues, then I would start worrying about maybe downloading a new driver or checking on the drivers to see if there's anything up to date. But I really hope you guys learned something from this video. Sorry for it being kind of boring and nothing really exciting being on the screen while I'm doing this. But I just wanted to give you guys a heads up of something that, you know, as a PC gamer, you're going to have to deal with. You're going to have to run into it unless you just want to hire someone like me or my father to do it for you, which is fine. If you need someone else to do it for you, there is nothing wrong with that. Just because you're a PC gamer doesn't mean you know everything about your computer. And just because you know everything about a computer doesn't mean you're a gamer. Vice versa, it, it kind of molds together after a while because eventually you're going to need to upgrade something and if you don't have the money to pay someone on top of new hardware, you're going to have to, you know, do it. But thank you guys a whole lot for all the support I've been getting. It makes me feel amazing that like 50 something people have decided to click the subscribe button even though I like, like two of those are like my mom, my dad, things like that. I appreciate you guys and I hope you learned something. Like this video if you did, dislike it if you think I'm an idiot, but you know, I don't need you guys to remind me. Definitely subscribe for more because I'll be doing more gaming, more unboxing, more reviewing, and definitely always more bullshitting. So I hope you guys have an awesome day. See you later.